Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a Samsung Galaxy S10. I'm going to show you how to wipe the data partition. This will also work on the uh, S10e as well as the S10 Plus. Very, very simple to do. So first thing is to go ahead and turn your phone off. Give it a second here. And then once it's off, what we want to do is we want to press and hold three, put three buttons simultaneously at the same time. Press and hold and wait till you get to the recovery menu. Okay, so it's going to be three buttons. It's going to be the volume up button the Bixby button, and the power button. So all three of these buttons you want to press and hold, okay? Volume up, Bixby button, and power button, okay? The phone is off right now. Now ready? One, two, three. Press and hold. All three buttons. Continue to hold. I'm still holding on to it. Don't let go yet until that recovery menu pops up. Just wait. Okay, and once you get to this screen right here, you can go ahead and let go. And it says up here, Android Recovery. Now from here, you want to scroll down using your volume down button to wipe cache partition. So go down, 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 down. And right here is wipe cache partition. To select it, you go ahead and press the power button, just like that. And from here, you want to use the volume down button to go down to yes, okay? And it says here, this cannot be undone. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the power button to select it. And you can see down here what it's doing. This is just wiping the cache partitions. You're just basically deleting your temporary files. You're not going to be deleting any like uh, information, photos, videos, or anything. This is always good to do this once in a while to clear up your phone, especially if you're having like issues, freezing, or any kind of glitches or lagginess. There's a possibility that this wiping cache partition can help as well. Okay, so it already says that the uh, wipe cache complete, cache partition wipe is complete now. So that's pretty much it. Pretty simple to do. And then from here, you can, it's on a reboot system now. Just go ahead and click on the power button to confirm and reboot the phone, and you'll be back up in business. So there you guys go. Pretty simple to do. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the